Sit. Hi, I'm Javin. And I'm Laura. And this is our Starlift tutorial. Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> the Starlift is easily one of the most popular lifts because it's spectacular without too much risk. It is used in almost every style from classical ballet, acrobatics to styles like tango and rock and roll. Whenever practicing new lifts for a longer period of time, it is recommended wearing gear that protects the lower back and wrist. Make sure both braces are tight. Also, if you have slippery hands, use some liquid magnesium to avoid losing grip. When first attempting this lift, we recommend doing it from a static standing position. And of course, with a spotter. For this lift, both partners must determine a number of things. For the flyer, it's a good idea to use her stronger leg as a standing leg. Her other leg will be her switching leg. Whichever leg has been chosen to be her standing leg, left or right, the same arm will be her standing arm. This goes for her legs too. Whichever leg she chooses to be her switching leg, the same arm will be her switching arm. The base is slightly more tricky. Whatever the flyer has chosen to be her standing leg, the base has to use the opposite leg. So if the flyer has a standing left leg, then the base will have a standing right leg. However, the switching arm is the same for both partners. This means if the flyer has a standing left leg and arm, the base has a standing right leg and switching left arm. Both flyer and base should bend their legs at the same time. The flyer needs to pull herself towards her partner and then dive over him. Once in the air, you should have your head behind your base, seeing the floor. Yes ladies, this is scary. The base needs to use his switching arm to pull the flyer over him. Then watch here as the switching arm switches to support the hip and push the flyer up in the air. This is by far the hardest part of the lift that will need a few hours of practice before you get it right. Once in the air, you're not done yet. You still have to put her down safely. Yes guys, don't think at this point you can just smash the girl back to the floor. Reach up with your standing arm. Ladies, rotate your hip back down. And then gentlemen, put the girl down, slowly. The spotter! The spotter should position himself at the standing legs of the base and flyer. Have one hand on the flyer's switching leg and one hand on her lower abs. During takeoff, the spotter doesn't do much, but during the switch, you should give the flyer a boost, especially while the couple is still learning. Once the flyer is high in the air, the spotter needs to stand by to make sure no one gets hurt. Running start is how to practice this lift when you're preparing for a show, since you will rarely have the chance to use static start in a set choreography. This approach is way more dangerous and much harder to execute, so do not attempt it until you've mastered static start. The base needs to bend his legs way deeper than before with both his hands on her hips. The flyer needs to jump much harder and throw her hips in the air as fast as she can. A second spotter is added in the back to catch the flyer if she dives too far over the base. Although that danger is very small, it has a big psychological impact on the flyer. The main spotter should do the same thing he did before, only now the hand that was used on the flyer's abs should be used to stabilize the base's switching hand. And that was our Starlift tutorial. If this video helped you, give us a like or subscribe for more. Or suggest if we lift that you would like to see and that will be our next video. Merry Christmas everyone! <laughs> <laughs>